All right, so we will, uh, uh, we're in 5.1 uh, and we'll make a first person template and clean it up and try to make a game out of it. So I've opened it up and chosen first person and naming it first person. You can name it whatever you want. Let's go. All right, so here we are. The project is open. The map here is uh, actually really cleaned up and, and fixed, so we don't need to bother too much about that for now. Um, it's a good starter map. And we have a content browser where, with a lot of folders here that I think we need to do some cleanup with. Uh, so let's get started. I prefer if we have a root folder within the content root uh, to make it easier to migrate in new files and make everything a little bit more readable. So we're naming our root uh, P01, Project01. I'm taking all the folders here and just pushing them in. Move. And it complains a little bit, or it warns us a little bit, uh, but we're just hitting OK. So there's two uh, folders lingering outside here. So we're hitting content and choosing um, fix up redirectors, like so. These are empty, so hopefully we can delete these now. We haven't really done anything with the folder structure, we just moved everything in here, uh, so we still need to do some cleanup. So if we open up the first one, we can see it's uh, it holds a folder named first person, and in there we have blueprints and inputs, it's in a new thing, uh, and maps. Uh, so let's uh, deal with this. So we need some extra folders here to get everything going. Uh, so I'm gonna right click and create a new folder, not in first person, in P1. In P1, a new folder called player. Here everything will reside that is very actively involved with the player. So we have inputs, goes into the player. And then we have some blueprints here. <clears throat> we have a first person a game mode and projectiles and weapons and a weapon component that's really interesting and new in 5.1 uh, for, for this template that is uh, but we're gonna open up player and make a new folder called blueprints everything that we expose from C++ uh, and want to adapt and work with so there we're pulling our uh, BP first person character into the blueprints folder. We're gonna uh, rename it as well uh, because everything in, in Epic standards are named BP and it's not really fine grained. So we will use a, um, a little bit deeper naming conventions. So this one we'll name, I'm hitting F2 and naming it Control uh, character blueprint CBP player. There will be several uh, character blueprints eventually uh, when we start making AI. Uh, those will also be character blueprints, but not the player one. So this is the player one. And then we have a first person game mode. We're going into P1, the root folder here, and making a new one called frame work and in the framework folder we push the first person game mode BP where is it there and we can rename this one as well because we are making a first person game so we will have that as a game our base game mode so we're making it BP game mode and we can make a suffix base if we were to end up with other game modes we know that this one is the base one 
And then we have weapon things. Well, we have a weapon component as well. Uh, we will have several different items in our game. A weapon is one of the items. So in P1, we'll make a folder called items. And in items, we make a folder called weapons. And in weapons, we will have several, diff several different weapons. And this one, uh, the default one, uh, fires off um, balls so we will adapt that and work with that to make it a grenade launcher eventually uh, not in this video but eventually so we're preparing for it grenade launcher now we have a folder structure here and we will drop in the projectile and the gun and the weapon component into grenade launcher here we go. So now the blueprint is empty. We are fixing up redirectors because there's a lot of hidden things here pointing these the resources into the folder. But now we clean that up so we can delete this folder. <clears throat> we have a maps folder. But it's a little bit awkward that they continuously choose to call it maps because it's a level. Uh, so in P01 we, we will make yet another folder uh, called world so in the world folder everything will reside where we do our world building the meshes and the materials and the levels so we will begin by making a levels folder and the, in this level we'll um, save our uh, our map but I prefer to do to do the saving a little bit different so I'm opening up I'm venturing into the first person map and choosing save current level as and then I'm going into world levels and naming it this will be our gameplay gym where we experiment with all the features that we have. That won't actually be the real level for our game. Just a gym where we can test it. So we will have a prefix on all our levels with LVL. But then we do underscore gym and then underscore what kind of gym it is. There could be animation gyms and there could be uh, asset gyms to showcase all the meshes and stuff like that but this is a gameplay gym game play like so save now we have an lvl gameplay gym that resides in level that's really good so this one won't be needed anymore and then i accidentally made a new folder uh, so we shouldn't have to fix up any redirectors. I just did it just in case. And now we're gonna delete this. Delete. <clears throat> Continuing, we have a first person arms. And that is actually how the arms look, but we also have some very, very important skeleton assets here. Uh, but we have textures and mostly how it looks. So that will be a cosmetics uh, folder that we will need. So in the player, because uh, the player could have different clothes on uh, eventually, with different skins on the hands or gloves and stuff like that. So we, we're gonna have that in a specific folder called cosmetics. Cosmetics. And in the cosmetics folder, we'll put uh, definitely the textures. So those goes into the cosmetics folder. And we have materials, definitely goes into the uh, cosmetics folder. And then we have meshes. So they are different because this is the SK mannequin arms, a skeletal mesh mannequin arms. And so that one is how it looks. <clears throat> so that one will be in our 
meshes folder we create a new one called meshes and then drop only the skeletal arms in there because we can have several different um, visual representations of the arms but with the same skeleton so we're moving it there and then we have these really really important uh, files that needs to go somewhere and I prefer if we do it in player we actually make a new folder called skeleton because it's so so important So, so important. It's so very important. Where did it go? There it go. There it goes. So we're dragging and dropping it into the skeleton. There. So this one should be empty now. We're doing a fix up redirectors. Always, always. See if we can delete that one. We could. We have animations. We have a... Um, a few animations with shooting and uh, and running as well uh, and idling so we don't really see the arms and jumping and, uh, and stuff like that so we're taking this animation folder and pushing it into the player now we have an animation we have an animation uh, blueprint here uh, we'll actually make a new folder for that one because we will uh, when the project grows there will be several different blueprints with uh, linked animation blueprints uh, and layered animation blueprints with uh, holding different weapons and stuff. So we're making an APBs, APB, APB in singular, pulling this one into there. And we will rename this one so it gets a prefix of APB. So. First person, it was only named first person. We're making it ABP animation blueprint <clears throat> base arms base player arms. Now this one is completely empty, empty. We're fixing up redirectors and deleting it. And we have an FP weapon here, first person weapon with audio and, and meshes and everything. I, I think you can guess where this one will end up. We take the entire thing and push it in to items. Where did items go? Items, weapons, grenade launcher. Because here we have the actual blueprint. So this entire thing into the grenade launcher. Move here. So all of these are um, related to these blueprints. We could actually skip the FP weapon because that would that is basically the grenade launcher. So we have a folder folder structure. So we're taking all of these these four map uh, folders and pushing them into the grenade launcher like that now this one is empty we're doing a fix up redirectors and deleting the fp weapon now we have a grenade launcher that's way better so in p1 now we are we have a framework, an items, a player, and a world. This one is world items, prototype world items. But we need them, they are, they are good. So all of these, materials, meshes, and textures, we just drop these three folders into world. Now we get them, them here. Uh, we need to do a fix up redirectors now these are empty and we delete them now we have a folder structure that works we need to check so all the namings have also worked we can close this one uh, 
So we are gonna quickly venture into project settings. And in the project settings, we're clicking maps and modes and we can see it's empty. We destroyed some soft pointers uh, with all the moving. So here we just need to reassign our BP game mode base and we can check if it actually holds the correct data and it does because it still holds the the cbp character blueprint player we don't uh, currently don't have any other uh, blueprint versions of these so these are just c plus plus versions so that's fine for now and the startup map needs to be the gym and we could also place the gym there that's, that's, we don't have a save button, so it's fine. And now we should be able to test it. It works. We can look around, we can move. We have, uh, we have a hand coming up sometimes. When we're jumping, it's behind me, but you can hint it. And we can pick up the weapon, and the weapon is also there. And we can still shoot. Everything works. Perfect. We'll continue uh, in the next video. Uh, but for now, peace out, live long and prosper.